Good morning. I'm Krista Benavides. It's Biz Day New Mexico here on 1050 KTBL and 1050talk.com. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning. Biz Day New Mexico is where we celebrate all things local by getting to know the people behind the businesses and organizations that make New Mexico the land of enchantment. You can find us here every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. right here on 1050 KTBL and 1050talk.com. And be sure to like and share our Facebook page, Biz Day New Mexico. This segment is brought to you in part by Richard Quintana, the mortgage guy at CMG Financial. For all your residential mortgage needs, give him a call at 505-985-5113 or email at rquintana at cmgfi.com. Dot com. My first guest this morning is a former guest, past guest, and it's great to have him back. It's Isfan Jaco with Jaco Home Inspections. Welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me back. It's good to be here. So last time we talked about the fact that there was so much information that I wanted to have you back, and you were gracious enough to accept my invitation. So give our listeners that might not have caught you and um, your colleague, John Paul, here the first time, generally what you all do with your home inspection service. Okay. We're a home inspection company. We've been in business for over seven years, probably done about 3,500 home inspections and counting. Uh, we offer a variety of services from the home inspections as well as a pre-listing inspection if you're about to sell your house, want to have an idea of what might come up during an inspection that could potentially kill a deal, you can find that in advance and maybe take care of some of those things. We also offer radon gas testing, termite and wood destroying organism inspection, a sewer video scan, and we recently added to our services the mold testing and evaluation. Mold, and that's something that we don't think about being in the desert, but it's something that we need to be concerned about, right? That is correct. Uh, Statistically, over 50% of homes have some elevated levels of mold. And anytime a leak occurs from a roof, a water line, people usually aren't aware of it right away, and that moisture has been sitting there. And if the an area within the cavity of the wall, the insulation, the studs, drywall, if that stays wet at least 72 hours, mold will start to grow. And people will take care of the water leak, it's gone, they don't think about the mold, and then that mold's there. And if it is something that's reoccurring, like a roof leak, that's just a little bit of water coming in, it's just going to keep growing and becomes a problem that most people are, might not even be aware of that is happening. Right. Now, one of the things I know that I <clears throat> was exposed to several years ago by one of those, I don't know, it was some kind of promotional offer that I got in the mail, or maybe somebody called me about getting, you know, this home inspection. But it was for a specific company, and they came in, and I don't remember the name of the company, and it doesn't matter. But I'm bringing this up because the report came back that we had, you know, black mold and all these scary names that you you don't really hear about. But I think it was... I don't know. To me, it seemed like a sensationalized, for lack of a better word, sensationalized report to get our money to then so they could come in and, and clean or do whatever they did. Again, I don't even remember what the service was. Um, so why don't you speak to that in terms of how consumers can be better educated when they do have, ideally, they're going to use your services. But if they don't, how they can be better educated in terms of knowing what those reports are actually saying and what they should do about them. Yeah, I I don't think anybody should do the test if they don't see or have any reason to suspect that they have an issue because they're just uh, instruments to get an idea of where the house is with normal levels, which would be you're compared to outside and inside. Um, if you have had past water leaks, if you're buying a home, you see that there's water damage. They've talked about water damage, but never talked about mold remediation. Those kind of situations are when you really would want to consider. If you're just curious... You could do that, or if you've had past health issues, concerns related to mold, and you really want to know whether you know the levels within your house are normal or acceptable, then you could consider it. We don't try to push it on our clients. That's, you know, like like you say, you had somebody telling you that it was a special, you got it, they found out you had some stuff, they did remediation. Um, we're, we're not that kind of company. We really want to just offer the service to people if they have a reason to be concerned that they can get that information. So as they're about to purchase a home, if it may have that problem, they can work out, you know, taking correcting it before they move into that home. Okay. So I'm a fan of the home improvement shows that are on HGTV all the time, and while I never plan on taking up my own 
project to do that. I just find them fascinating. And one of the things I find fascinating goes back to one of the things that you mentioned that you offer is, you know, when the the remodeling crew or specialty people go in and they tear down walls and so forth and they see the termite damage or the ants and all of that kind of thing. To me, it seems one surprising that that wouldn't have been disclosed when the people were purchasing the home or that it wasn't something that would be obvious and it's not obvious until the walls come down. So how does that, you know, maybe that's too technical of a question, but I think it may be helpful for the listeners to know if there are some signs that they can see that aren't so obvious that they might not think about that could then lead them to be just, again, more aware of what might be going on between the walls. Yeah, that's a really good question because things like that do happen. You know, during a home inspection, it is a visual inspection. We're looking at the condition at that time. Mm -hmm. And sometimes somebody had a past water leak. They fix the water leak. They paint it over everything. We don't know that the water damage was there. They don't, we wouldn't know if there was mold. Other times, you know, termite activity is within the walls and having somebody who's specialized in understanding what termites are, how they live, their habits, behaviors, and signs would do better to t- detect those things to help, you know, find them and bring it to your attention because sometimes these things are not obvious, especially damage that's been covered up, painted over, and they didn't repair everything. Those kind of things are going to come up later on when you're remodeling and changing walls, opening, taking off drywall, and you find these surprises. And unfortunately, they do happen. And it's nice when people disclose that what kind of things have gone in the past. But homes aren't usually, usually when you're buying a home, it's not the, the, the person that you're buying it from is not the first you know, owner of the house. So Things that happened may have been from another owner, previous owner, and they was never disclosed. They were repaired or just covered up. And then somewhere down the road, they do get exposed. And uh, sometimes they're small things. Sometimes they can be large things. And, you know, as a home inspector, we're looking for signs that could tell us something else took place within the home. And then other times, everything's been repainted, remodeled, everything new, and it looks great. And, you know, there's termites in the wall, things like that. And right. you just can't see it. So yeah, that's, that's a tough one. That's crazy. Well, folks, if you're just tuning in, my first guest this morning is Istvan Jaco with Jaco Home Inspections. And he was just sharing how the inspection process is very much about, you know, what is seen at that time. And so with, with home inspections, there could have been damage in the past. There could have been issues in the past that were covered up, repaired, et cetera, and you don't really know. And because multiple owners may have had the property, the one that you're buying it from may not have known what the previous 10 owners or five owners or whatever um, had going on in the house. So it's always best to be on the safe side, I would say. Yeah, that's that's where we go in there. We try to find things. And there's many times we've found things that were very surprising that even the the sellers themselves were unaware of that were taking place within their own home that they've been in with the last couple of years. Mm-hmm. You know, that's where a pre-listing sometimes pre-listing inspection before you put your house on the market can be beneficial too, because you can find out about something that could potentially scare off a buyer finding out that information. But had you found out it took care of it. And even though you disclosed it, it was taken care of. It was now just information rather than a situation right in the middle of a deal going on that could potentially scare off a buyer and and kill the deal. Right. Well, because the buyer may think, oh, this person was purposely trying to hide this information when they, in fact, really didn't know, but it could come across that way. And I think in, in today's world, there's that skeptic in us that has grown a little bit more, um, I don't know, skeptical or just more aware and might not believe the person that they didn't know about it. So the, buying a home for most people is the biggest purchase, biggest investment that they'll make within you know their life. So to be worried about getting a lemon or being lied to or something being covered up, I'm sure a lot of us, you know, I've bought a home, so I know how that feels and you don't want to think about that. And most of the time, the sellers are unaware of these things. But it, I could see how some people, it could come up and they can make them questionable. And then when people start questioning, they might start questioning other things, which it's nice to be just upfront and, you know, share what you know and have the home inspection so that you have a second opinion to overlook everything in case there's something that nobody sees. So, right. So it's, 
Well, that's, yeah, that's definitely something to, to keep in mind and to just be more aware, right? In terms of, I think we talked about this before about being, um, more proactive when it comes to the care of our home. And if there's, if we have purchased an older home, maybe there was an inspection, everything was fine, but it seems like to be that proactive consumer, to have, you know, the, the, have you guys come in and do an inspection just in terms of maintenance. And, you know, you've been in the home 20 years and nothing's ever gone wrong, but just to be on the safe side, is that going down the wrong path or am I? No. Onto something. <laughs> that, that, no, that, that is great. Yeah, and we do do that. We do a maintenance inspection. It's not the same cost as a home inspection. It is just as thorough. We do a report and we give people idea of maintenance needs and repairs that are going on or, or that may be needed at that time because we live in a home and you, you, you'd be surprised with what you get used to seeing and you don't notice. And then all of a sudden somebody else comes in and they point it out. And it seems obvious. And then you can start coming up with a plan so that you can set up. Uh, you know, all your maintenance and, and take care of these things to maintain your home. No, it's, a, it's a great thing. That's a really good question. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, cool. Well, I'm glad we have another segment because you're going to go into, in the third segment, um, more detail about the different services that you have. So why don't we get your contact information as we wrap up this segment? Okay. Uh, okay. So Ish, Ishvan, Jaco Home Inspections. You can contact us at 505-780-8132. You can also go online to book an inspection at zsako.com to book an inspection and easily set put all your information and get everything scheduled. And I'd also like to add, with all of our inspections, we also do a complimentary infrared thermal scan, which is great for looking for moisture in walls and Ex- other things. Excellent. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. It's Biz Day, New Mexico, here on 1050 KTBL. Good morning. Welcome back. I'm Krista Benavides. This is Biz Day, New Mexico. Again, celebrating local business and organization that makes the land of enchantment enchanting. So this segment is brought to you in part by Cheese Bus Performance Solutions. Cheese Bus Performance Solutions works with businesses and organizations to reduce the cost of doing business caused by ineffective or inadequate communication. They do this by providing customized on-site classes, conference keynote presentations, breakout sessions, and much more. Schedule your free consultation today at CheeseBusPerformanceSolutions.com or call 505 505- Eight nine 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 one three zero. My next guests, we have three guests for this segment, are Holly Wu, her daughter Brianna Wu, and Sandra Smith, all from Chinook Spirit Children's Academy. Welcome to the show, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. So tell our listeners what Chinook Spirit Children's, I just love that name, Chinook Children's Spirit Academy is all about. Chinook Spirit Children's Academy is a private kindergarten through fifth grade multi-age classroom. And um, what makes us unique is a curriculum that we've created called Life is Our Classroom. In addition to a full differentiated curriculum of math and literacy like you see everywhere, our emphasis is uh, bringing life into our students and bringing our students to life. And so... Uh, that means that we often take learning outside of the walls. We're very mobile. There's kind of three pieces to it. Uh, the first piece is the curriculum itself, uh, the full curriculum. So students don't have to choose between music and art. We, we, do, with, we do them both, PE as well, um, math, literacy, science, social studies. So the state standards are there. The second piece is a mindfulness piece, and you hear that more in education these days. And it's something we started four years ago for ourselves. I, I kind of thought as an educator you had to be private to do something like that, and now in re- retrospect i realize that it's it's so simple it's just tiny little shifts that you can do anywhere public or private or charter setting um and so for us we call that part of our day spirit time and the third component is uh we go on field trips and i use that word <laughs> kind of loosely but it's almost every week and they're just un- unique intimate little experiences because our school is small and so we we the community is so generous to us <laughs> and the kids come alive in those opportunities you get to see the kids um who they really are 
way more than I would see in a classroom setting alone. And then once a month, the kids select a service project, a way to give back to the community. It's amazing. I, I <laughs> learned about your this, your school several years ago, I think, when you were first starting. Um, and the whole idea behind it is really the way I summarized it. And tell me if this is, is accurate. That whole idea of bringing back the what was good and effective about the one room schoolhouse. Yes, I think I think that also adds to the nutshell. Very much so. It's it's a small, intimate setting. The kids know and support each other. They know and appreciate and respect each other's growth areas and strengths. So give folks your contact information in case they're already thinking about, you know, encouraging their grandkids to go there or their own children or just want to share with somebody that they know who has children that could benefit from that kind of learning environment. We'd love to talk with anyone who's interested more at 505-850-7916. Our, our website has a plethora of information, hopefully organized conveniently for you at ChinookSpirit.org. And that's C-H-I-N-O-O-K Spirit.org. Excellent. Thank you so much. So, Sandra, why don't you share with us what your experience has been with um, working with Holly and this great idea of just fostering education from all different areas of really preparing our children for being responsible, contributing members of society as they become adults? Well, you know, in um, in around 2000, I sort of got on my soapbox of, uh, you know, I have a lot of experience in early childhood. Um, I have a counseling degree, and I put together a book called Nurturing Child Spirit. And I didn't know Holly yet when I did that, but I knew then that... Um, we have to build from the ground up that we had to start focusing in our schools on the social emotional wellness of our children first. And that wasn't even heard of, you know, 15, 20 years ago. So I started getting on my soapbox on that. And then I had a wonderful experience of meeting Holly. And so the program that I had put together, we call it SAI or the Secrets of Advanced Intervention. Um, Holly and I just put our heads together and was like, wow, what Holly is doing and what Chinook Spirit was just beginning to create, just the school was just an idea at that time, is exactly what every school needed to be in my, you know, humble expert <laughs> opinion at that point on what I was seeing and what was going on um, in schools, you know, all over the country. Um, so uh, Holly and I have been working together. I've been not only consulting with her, but I have to say that I learn as much from Holly as she ever learns from me. Um, but also I've been excited to be involved now in our sustainability campaign for Chinook Spirit because Chinook Spirit's a nonprofit and because not only do we want Chinook Spirit to go on and on and on to serve more and more kids, but Holly has a way of sharing on a weekly basis, some of the uh, tools that she uses in Life is Our Classroom with other teachers and with counselors. So, you know, they could get a, a weekly inspiration that they can use in their classrooms to make uh, public their public school programs more of life is our classroom so so i love that not only are we working to um, bring in funds for the school but we're also working to be able to share this concept with other schools which uh, is a very generous thing for chinook to do i think absolutely and i think that speaks to the idea of abundance i mean we hear about that as i think a, a, the latest buzzword right but for people to actually internalize that and actually live it is a completely at least i found a completely different story and you know because there's competition or the people think oh i'm not going to share x y and z because it's going you know it'll take from me but the idea that you know holly has you know the school that is her heart and soul and her baby and you know being able to give her heart in to her students and the parents and so forth in the community but then to share that with other with other teachers, with other educators, whether they're in her school or not, is just really commendable. And I thank you for that because the reality is if we don't pull together, all of us that are responsible for the little people in our worlds, we're not going to make the world a better place. And that's really what it's about, in, in my opinion. 
I wish I had known those things that I know now. I wish I had known it when I was a public school teacher. I'm super happy that we started Chinook Spirit, but I could have done it in my regular classroom. And so that's that's who we're trying to reach, those teachers and parents, so that we can share just little shifts and ways of keeping kids kind. They are. They're good people from the start, and that's what we teach the kids, and that's that's one of the shifts. But, um, it, you know, if we can keep the pressure off of the kids and if we can let them play and let them play unstructured <laughs> right? and let them solve their own problems and ask adults for help, um, the word tattling never comes into the community because it's asking for help with the situation. There's just tiny little shifts that make a big difference in, as Sandra mentioned, meeting the social emotional needs proactively and keeping things friendly. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, listeners, if you're just tuning in, my guests for this second segment are Holly Wu and Sandra Smith with Chinook Spirit Children's Academy. And they were just sharing some of not only their philosophy, but their approach to early childhood education. And they actually have a special guest with them. I introduced her at the beginning of the segment. And it is not only the daughter of Holly who founded the school, but she's also a student at Chinook. And this is Brianna. So hi, Brianna. Say hi to everybody. Hi. So tell our listeners what you love about this school that your mom founded and that you get to go to. I love how kind the kids are. And I love spirit time because it really clears your mind when you have busy things going on. Spirit mind. Tell us what that spirit time. Tell us what that's about. Because maybe some adults out there, I bet we could use it too. Um, so first five minutes... First five minutes you can, you meditate, and then second five minutes you can get like something like a book or something to draw, and then the next five minutes Miss Christie uh, does a lesson or reads a book. How great! So you get a chance to just calm your mind down and get yourself in a place where you're ready to learn. Is that what it? Is that how it works? <laughs> That sounds great. And so tell us, your mom mentioned the field trips that you all take every week. So what's been your favorite one from this year? Mm, uh, I think going into a plane. An actual plane? Yeah. Oh, tell us a little bit about that. Um, so there was this, so we went to the airport and then they drove us around and to the plane and we got to look around and, and we got to press buttons because they haven't flown in a long time. So How exciting. That's great. Well, thank you so much for sharing with us, Brianna. You'll have to come back sometime and tell us more about what you're learning over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so you can just see, I mean, you, hopefully you heard it in her voice, but Brianna is just glowing and of course her mom and Sandra are too. But I think that's something that that is important to see in children as they're learning and just being kids from day to day. I mean, I know my kids, they're little, they're seven and four. And um, one of the things that I encourage them to do is to have fun. And they remind me of that. And that's why I asked Brianna to share what, what spirit time is, because I think as adults, I think we can get too wrapped up in what we're doing in our adult lives that we forget that there's still a kid inside of us and to be creative and to have fun and so forth. And I often say to myself, or I recognize that I'm fun challenged because I'm so focused and, and trying to get things accomplished. And sometimes the accomplishment is in those small moments of just taking time out to see the butterflies or go see an airplane, etc. So we have a couple of minutes left in, in this segment. So what additional thoughts would you like to share about this great place. Well, you know, to build on what Brianna said and, and about these what so-called field trips, because what's really happening in, 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 in my observation of what Holly's doing here is the teachers are also observing the children when they're living real life. You know, going on that plane or going to the museum or even just going to the park, whatever it is, they're being themselves. And so then the, um, the teachers can understand the children better and then support them them in whatever not only what excitement and their and their gifts support that but then uh, once they get back to the classroom help them support them in challenges that they see that don't have to play out in in the classroom like they typically do 
That's a great point. That's a really great point. Because observation, I find that when working with my clients, just observing, you know, people doing a role play setting, a uh, role play exercise or something like that tells me a lot about what's happening in the workplace. And so then I can customize. And so it sounds like that's exactly what's going on in, in the classroom as well. Kids keep you present and, and uh, like to piggyback on what you were saying, Krista, and they, we encourage them to share their joy. And that's what you, I hopefully you, you heard in Brianna's voice. They, and that's part of the service orientation of the school. What, what, um, what's near and dear to your heart and we care for ourselves so that we can care for others. So um, I would just love that message to get out. I do have a promotion. Should I share that? Well, let me get it from you because we have just a few seconds okay. left in the segment, but I will make sure to share it in the wrap-up. Thank you. Well, folks, this was Holly Wu and Sandra Smith and Brianna Wu from Chinook Spirit Children's Academy, and you can contact them for more information at 505-850-7916. I'm Krista Benavides. It's Biz Day New Mexico here on 1050 KTBL and 1050talk.com. I'll be right back. Welcome back and good morning. I'm Krista Benavides. It's Biz Day New Mexico here on 1050 KTBL and 1050talk.com. If you are interested in learning more about all of the guests that we have on our show or just being reminded of who they are, you can always find them, their online profile, at golocalboom.com. That online directory is still up and available for you to search and make sure that you keep your business local. GoLocalBoom.com is powered by Rocketbox SEO. Launch your business online. So my final guest this morning was my first guest, as I mentioned earlier that he was going to have two segments, Ishvan Jaco, and he's actually talking about a different company that offers kind of similar services, but they're different enough that it's a different company. So I'm going to let him um, explain what it's all about and actually introduce the name of the company as well. So welcome back Thank to you. the show. Thank you, Krista. Uh, the, the new company is BioClean Remediation, and the company is more focused on just mold. So it's not an inspection company, even though we do inspections for mold and the testing, just like uh, the other company. Uh, but in this company, we also do remediation. So if we do find out that your home has a mold issue, we can remediate it and correct the issue to get your home back to uh, safe, normal uh, indoor levels. That's interesting. And you were sharing with me um, before the segment started that it was necessary to have a separate company. And not that I want you to go into all the specifics about that, but I think it'd be interesting for our listeners to know that might be, you know, in that mindset of, you know, post-retirement and starting a business and all of those things, just the fact that they may need to ask more detailed questions in terms of their insurance agent and be specific about what they're wanting to get into, because that's what you found, right? In terms of adding another service actually meant another company. Yeah. So in our case, since the mold remediation was very specific, uh, the insurance needs for our other company were different. They didn't offer the coverage for this and in, in a lot of different things and aspects of the company and what it does, you know, its performance, since it's based on remediation, we're helping existing homeowners. We do commercial as well. The needs were very different. So we were, so I decided to go with creating a whole nother company so that it could represent those services separately. Now, the employees, you'll see some of the same similar faces, So, but we are, do represent two different companies. And, and you know, it, it, you'll see when we are doing services for each of those companies, too, they're, they have completely different uh, focuses since one's helping people who are about to buy a home. The other one can be helping somebody who's buying a home, but it's addressing an issue with the home, which is a little different than what a home inspection company does. Right. Absolutely. And so I imagine that that also involved with this whole separate company, um, other certifications and training and all of that. So how long did that take? Um, well, yeah, that can take different <laughs> time frames. Uh, nice thing is when we decided to start offering mold testing and evaluations for the other company, we didn't get all of us trained to do that, to do something that was a new service. We've hired somebody 
who is a mold, you know, certified mold inspector as well as mold remediator. So he comes with a background of experience, years of experience, has been remediating molds, so he understands molds. So when he goes and does evaluations, it's coming with experience, as opposed to a home inspector who took a class, got certified, started doing it, and is learning it from the ground up. We didn't want to offer that to our clients. We wanted to offer something that was experience so that we can be helping them what they really need. So that is the certification that, yes, also for the other company that was completely different that on my own, I wouldn't have gone there, but with uh, having, you know, Eric Tilson is his name, and he's a great guy, and he's been a great addition to the team, we're able to now offer that service to our clients. Well, I'm glad you brought that up, because I think at least as people are, are wanting to be more informed consumers, ideally, that it can be very easy for a company, a business, to say and flash, oh, we've got these certifications, et cetera, and it might just be that eight hour class or that 10 week class or whatever it is. And there's nothing I have nothing against. I mean, that's the world I'm in, in terms of, of helping people get their license, keeping their licenses current by continuing education and and so forth. But with something like this, so specialized and dealing with the environment in which you live, experience has to be part of the part of that whole package. Definitely. I agree with that statement. Uh, And, being construction background for 20 years, whenever I started doing a new service, working on a different type of function, you know, repairs, whatever it might be within the home, I always noticed there was a learning curve. So starting a new service, when we started doing termite services, we actually uh, started working with another local company, Preventative Pest Control, who has an excellent rating on all, you know, from all their clients that's on their Google reviews. And we decided to team up with them so that we didn't have to do that learning curve and, you know, have some homeowners have some unfortunate experiences we were learning. So we brought in somebody who is an expert at this so that we can offer an excellent service. And that's what we strive to do on everything that we do. So there are some things that you could get trained. So with the sewer evaluations or the sewer line um, video scans that we do, two of our inspectors, I'm one of those and another, we do those specifically. We did get trained for those. Uh, The radon, everybody got tested for that. So they are doing that. But there are certain things when you get in specialized like mold, which is an environmental thing, which can be a health issue. We wanted to make sure that we were offering our clients the best that we could possibly give them. So is there a different contact information for BioClean remediation or is it the same contact information? Um, for the testing, you can go through either company, but for the BioClean remediation, we actually do have a separate number, separate website for information. The phone number for BioClean remediation is 505-365-2509. So 505-365-2509, and that's the BioClean remediation specifically for mold, uh, for the mold inspection as well as the, the remediation Aspect. That is correct. And you can also go to Home Advisor and see our listing there and read more of our reviews about the company. Excellent. So listeners, if you're just tuning in, my guest for the third segment is the guest from the first segment, and that's Ishvan Jaco. And But he's representing this time a separate company, BioClean Remediation, that specifically focuses on um, mold inspection for the home and the remediation, the fixing or the clearing up process of mold in the home and the phone number for that specific company is 505-365-2509. And so I want to go back a little bit. I know we're kind of going back and forth from one company to the next, but, um, you know, I think that's a natural process probably as you're talking to clients anyway. So going back to the thermo scan, I think if I'm yeah. talking about it correct or speaking of it clearly and correctly. So, that was something that was briefly mentioned when you were here a couple of months ago, and we talked about it a little bit at the, in the first segment. So go into that a little bit more, because I think that would be a service that, that homeowners would be interested in knowing about if they just understood exactly what it is. Definitely. So it's a infrared thermography scan, and what we're looking at is anomalies of temperatures within the structure. Now, certain things being colder or hotter can tell us or help indicate that there might be another issue going on within the home. It's something that we do at the home inspections because it's very valuable as to the information that it can give us. It can tell us whether all the vents within a a furnace heating system are distributing heat evenly through the house. It can give us a, a... 
heat reading signature of the radiant heat floors so we can see that fluid is flowing through each of the rooms and the biggest one that we find the most valuable that we do get homeowners call us specifically for and they can ask that you know ask for that service just solely is water entry so when you have a water leak whether it be at a window a canale at the roof lots of times you're like oh i have a water leak you take care of that one leak but if it's an older house, there's often a chance that there's other water leaks that you're unaware of. So during the rainy season, we get a lot of calls having people request that we come out and do an infrared scan because they see moisture somewhere. And as we go around, sometimes it is just that spot. And other times we have seen four or five other locations where water is coming in that they're unaware of. And, and now that they're aware of it, they can address it, you know, make sure that it's taken care of so they don't have other issues like mold or structural damage occur from these leaks that have been going on that they're unaware of because the signs were not visible within the interior of the home. Right. And going back to that visible, just, you know, a regular inspection wouldn't catch that, right? That is correct. If the, there wasn't water dripping or a water stain on the surface, nobody would know that water's been getting in the attic or in the wall, wherever that might be occurring. Well, and that's, that's actually scary, not only from a health standpoint, but just from, like you were saying, a structural standpoint, because after a while, the wood or whatever it's affecting, and you know, in New Mexico, we have the adobe homes, and so it's going to affect the, the integrity of that adobe structure. And it might be, if they don't know about it, in some cases, too late to do something about it. So the sooner the better, it seems, would be the 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 best approach, right? That's correct. Like everything else, you know, doing the preventative maintenance, finding out what's going on, taking care of little problems before they become big problems is, is worth a lot. You know, the amount of money that you'll spend to have somebody come out, evaluate your home, look at the stucco, look at the roofing, which are things, those two things should be looked at annually, but finding out about these little repairs that might cost you a couple hundred dollars, maybe a thousand, but not taking care of it. When you start having structural issues, water damage, mold, you could be talking thousands and thousands of dollars in repairs that could have been done by a little bit of maintenance. Key. It's key. I mean, we we do the maintenance, preventive maintenance on our cars and don't necessarily think about it for our homes. I was just thinking about that the other day, just in terms of changing the filter in my furnace, you know, because I just dusted and I have dust on my furniture again. And I'm thinking, OK, it's probably time that I need to change out that filter um, and those little things. And if you don't, then pretty soon you're, at least for me, allergies or sleep quality is decreased and, you know, things like that. And so the bigger, you know, the smaller problems end up being a lot bigger. Yeah. So, you know, once again, going back to what I was talking about earlier, the home being one of the largest investments you make, protect your investment. You know, definitely have things looked at, you know, have a, have your roofer out once a year, have your stucco guy or exterior siding guy come look at the outside and then occasionally look at your plumbing. Look at access panels, look at the water heater, look at the mechanical room, make sure nothing's going on. And if it is, just take care of it, you know, while it is a small repair before it becomes something very expensive. Right. Absolutely. Well, we have about a minute left in this segment. So let's go ahead and get your contact information one more time. Okay. The company is BioClean Remediation and the phone number is 505 365 Two five zero nine, and you can also go to Home Advisor and look us up there and see all of our reviews and our status and uh, contact us either way. You can also email us at office at biocleanrem.com. Excellent. So folks, get that information down, and now's a good time to get that taken care of. And I think we can, we're can. we actually praying for the rains to come. And, you know, not that anybody wants to have a leak, but we've been, you know, this drought has been carrying on long enough. Well, thank you so much for being back on the show. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. All right. I'm Krista Benavides. You're listening to Biz Day New Mexico on 1050 KTBL and 1050talk.com. I'll be right back with the show wrap-up. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning. Good morning. Welcome back. I'm Krista Benavides. You're listening to Biz Day New Mexico on 1050 KTBL and 1050talk.com. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning. Again, Biz Day New Mexico is about celebrating all things local and getting to know the people behind the businesses and organizations that make New Mexico the great place it is to live, the land of enchantment. And so... 
Our lineup included three guests. Well, actually six, if you count the the three from Chinook Spirit Academy. And then, well, I think Ishvan can count as two by himself because he was representing two companies. So it was, it was a great show again this week. And I'm so blessed to have the opportunity to bring them to you to let you know who in our community can give you the products and services that you may need for your lives. So my first guest again was Ishvan Jaco, and he is with Jaco Home Inspections. And again, that particular company provides those pre-selling or pre-buying home inspections if you're buying or selling a home, and they can be reached at 505-780-8132. And one thing in particular that I'd like you to take note of if you didn't already during the segment was that they offer those preventive maintenance inspection. So they're less than a full inspection that you would experience for selling or buying a home, but just, you know, you're you may not be in the market to buy or sell buy or sell a home, but you want to know what's going on within your house right now, make sure you're on top of things being proactive. That maintenance inspection is what you would need. So again, that's Jaco Home Inspection and the number is 505-780 8132. My second segment included Holly Wu, Sandra Smith, and Brianna Wu with Chinook Spirit Children's Academy. And it is such a pleasure that they were able to be here on the show. I actually met Holly through professional women's organizations I used to be a member of last year and was talking to her about the school and just the philosophy. And it was really inspiring because, again, they're talking about the social and emotional education as well as the core subjects of our children. And that's so key, especially in this this day, in this present time of bullying and school shootings and violence everywhere and so forth. And so it's that one-room schoolhouse approach that actually helps the students teach each other with adult guidance and supervision and so forth and those field trips that take them out into the community every week and helping them learn and grow and and have fun and just be kids. And then the teachers use that information to help up-level the educational experience in the classroom. So they do have a special going on, and that is their... Enrollment fee is going to be waived for qualifying students that enroll by June 15th. It's a $200 value. They are open for enrollment. And for those of you who may not have children, but you think this is a valuable and a worthwhile cause that you want to support, they are a 501c3 nonprofit. So they are accepting charitable gifts. So you can contact them for enrollment information as well as for any of your contributions at 505-850-7916. And again, they are waiving the enrollment fee for students that that enroll for qualifying students that enroll by June 15th that is a $200 value and then my final guest again was Ishvan Jaco and the second company that he was representing was BioClean Remediation specifically focused on mold and making sure that mold is not in your home and if it is getting it out we were talking as I was at escorting him out of the studio this morning about the fact that in New Mexico we often don't think that mold is an issue because we are in the desert and it's such a dry climate. But only he was sharing with me that it only takes 48 hours for those mold spores to start producing, and then it's an issue. So it's not something you want to mess with or take for granted. So it's to your advantage to know what's in your home. Hopefully it's not mold, but if it is, they can get it taken care of. And so BioClean Remediation, the contact number is 505 505- Three six five two five zero nine. So thank you so much for tuning in for this week's show. If these are services or organizations that could benefit you and your lives and your family, please make sure to contact them and keep your business local. All of the businesses and organizations that come on the show are locally New Mexico registered businesses. That's what we're all about. I think I read somewhere that it's 68 cents on the dollar stays in the community when you spend your money with a local business. So keep that in mind the next time that you're going to choose between a big box store or that local mom and pop, go to the mom and pop. Might be a little bit more expensive, but one, it's staying in the community until you're probably going to get better service anyway. And that is something you can't really put a price on.
So thank you so much for tuning in this morning. I look forward to having you back here next weekend and every Saturday at 10 a.m. for the BizDay New Mexico show. And if you have any comments or recommendations, visit me on Facebook, BizDay New Mexico. BizDay New Mexico, 1050 KTBL and 1050talk.com. Have a fantastic weekend.